Hey, so I got good news for everybody. I am commuting home from work. <laughs> yes, I am finally back to work because this state has finally allowed manufacturing and some other uh, types of workplaces to open up under limited conditions. So at least I'm getting a little bit of a paycheck now, so we should be okay with that. Um, one thing I gotta make clear, I have tried to make this vlog three times already, and it's just, it's tough to talk about this without getting too political and like too edgy to the point where it's just like, well, now I'm just ranting. You know, like, that's not what I want these motor vlogs about. That's not what I want my channel to be about, really. I, I just wanted to be entertaining. I want you guys, you know, to be about me and my friends and family and stuff like that. Not about any sort of political crap or anything going on like that. But all that being said, uh, we got a pandemic going on. So it, it'd be kind of tough not to talk about it. And um, I'm stuck behind these guys, so I guess I got some more time to talk. Um, my state's pretty much the next to New York. Massachusetts is like the single most locked down state that there is. We're about two to three weeks behind uh, most of the other states in the United States, especially the South. Uh, Georgia was like one of the first states to open up. And some people are like, oh, we should be locked down more, blah, blah, blah. Number one, our numbers have been trending down. <clears throat> Number two, because everyone's been at home, everyone's been on lockdown, once you start opening stuff up, you're gonna get that spike in numbers. Why? Because people have been locked in their house. It's an endless loop. So no matter how long you keep people locked up in their house for, there's going to be a spike, whether it's six months from now, eight months from now, a year from now, whenever you let them out. That, that's, I mean, it's just gonna happen. So you have to accept that spike, and then maybe like a week or two weeks after, you know, you let everybody out, it goes down. So. You know, I'm not like Bill Nye the Science Guy or anything. I'm just, you know, an IT guy. But, I mean, it, that makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to anybody else. Um, Georgia saw a little bit of a spike, and now I think it went down again. So, it is what it is. We just, it's, let's not live in fear. We, I mean, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance, but we cannot live in fear of that. And let's not, like, subject ourselves to a new normal. Let's get back to a, oh, hello. Hello! <laughs> oh, wow, that was bad. Anyways, <laughs> uh, lighten things up a little bit. Anyways, A, go back to how things were before the pandemic, because was it perfect? No, but it was the world we lived in. Um, B, let's make some minor changes. Maybe we can make the world slightly a slightly better place after we get the pandemic under control, which it pretty much is. So those are the options. I, I don't think we should accept... I hate the word new normal. I really do. It's like if I wake up every morning and uh, Mike Papadopoulos is there and he punches me in the face every time I wake up and that happens five days a week, am I going to accept that? Like, ah, oh, this is the new normal. Mike Papadopoulos is going to punch me in the face every single day. I'm like, do I not make changes to that? Do I accept it? Or do I just go, hey, you know what? I really like the mornings where Mike didn't punch me in the face. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's, you know, a good uh, comparison or not, but that's, that's kind of how I feel. But again, good news, I'm able to do more stuff. I did a lot during the pandemic, like while, while we were actually locked down. You know, I wrapped the spider, I got neons, I did some other things. So now that stuff is opening up and happening, you guys can see some meets are happening and things like that. So I'm just so excited just to get out of the house and do stuff. Like really, like, I know a lot of you guys know girls women's know that I play video games stuff like that you get sick of gaming like even as a gamer like I'm a casual gamer I'm done <laughs> like I'm done with it I would much rather just be outside doing stuff oh no oh he's going that way all right like, I, I can't tell you how many video games I beat you know I even went back and reinstalled some games from the 90s and like games from my childhood and played them again and rebeat them like that's how bored i was like just like being stuck at home there's nowhere to go and also i uh i would have to say i got into some pretty decent shape i wasn't i'm not in the best of shape anyways you know my body's pretty broken but um I, I think I'm good for what I was, but now that I had all this free time, I started hitting the exercise bike, uh, doing some extra workouts and stuff like that, so, you know, getting the abs going. 
stuff like that. So I actually f I feel really good. Like physically, I feel good, and that's just uh, up and moving and things like that. So I guess that was a pro. Got me back into shape. So how's everybody else doing over there? I know, uh, like I said, e pretty much every other state except for my own and anyone in New York, <clears throat> you guys have been able to do stuff. I saw, um, I think it was Dirty Des there. Went into a Hooters. I'm wicked jealous, dude. Like, really. I would love to just walk into a Hooters right now. But, um, yeah, I hope everyone else is good. I know around the world, I know things are a little bit different. But from what I can tell and the information that I can actually get, uh, everything looks okay. You guys are slowly <coughs> starting to open up. So, it's good. So, let's uh, bang away. Let's keep being good. Keep doing some uh, motor vlogging stuff. Get do some dogs and butts. <laughs> All right. Dogs and butts. Get those dogs, get those butts out of the house. It's time to do some walking. So I can look at your dogs and look at your butts. <laughs> oh man, I, I sound wicked creepy now. I apologize for that. Anyways, that's it. That's the update. Back to work, doing stuff. State is opening. Cliff notes. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one.